Hi everyone, Roast here with another Realm video. I talked about the enchants getting revamped entirely in the Oryxmas update, and you guys voted for that to be the next video before I talk about Crucible changes. I'll try and put that out tomorrow. So, this video will be perfect to cover everything there is to know about Realm's enchanting system, because there's a lot. So in this video, I'm going to try and get to the basics of the system, like what can be enchanted and how, uh, and some more detailed goodies like where to get each different kind of dust and what I think the best enchants overall are right now. <laughs> um, if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe to get for more. And if you're new to Realm of Mad God entirely, check out the playlist I have in the top right, uh, because that has all kinds of useful guides. Uh, with all that out of the way, let's get started with the bare bones basics of enchanting and Realm of the Mad God. At its core, enchants are a way to upgrade your items without swapping them out entirely, and it can also end up in you having two items that are the same, but one's better than the other. Uh, they offer buffs via passive stat increases or on hit stat increases they can give you things like speedy or other status effects and on weapons they can give you different mechanics for your shots like the shots going through cover or boomerang back to you or even changing the projectile size um, overall there's a lot of different buffs they can provide and some are going to be really good for specific situations but bad for other ones and i'll talk about more about that later in the best enchant section um, to use enchants though, you first have to loot an object with an enchant slot, like uh, this star here. You see I have an empty enchant slot. Um, all tiered items and some UTs can drop with an enchant slot, but for now, uh, for balancing reasons, items can only have one enchantment at a time. Um, to specify, all tier items can drop with enchants, but they don't necessarily have them. Unfortunately, my kendo stick doesn't have an enchant. I'm going to get luck on it, though, for sure. It's not a real enchant. Um, but all objects can drop with enchants, but lower tier items can't be upgraded as high as the upper, higher tiers. So, again, I'll talk more about that later. Uh, once you have an enchantable item though, you go into your vault like I've done so here, you'll walk to the enchanter, he's this guy on the top right, away from the blacksmith, open, and then here it will showcase all the items you have in your inventory that are enchantable. And just to specify, uh, just to make sure, I don't think this will show anything that's not in your inventory, so I'm going to take this bow and put it in my vault chest and see what happens. Yeah, so if it's in your vault, you won't see it here. If it's in your inventory, you can see it. But you talk to him, you say, hey, let me uh, let me enchant this. And you press the button and it randomizes it. Yeah, so to upgrade, you'll pay a little bit of dust and your item will be enchanted or you'll reroll the enchantment. And you might be asking, Roast, what is dust and how do I get it? And don't worry, that's, that's what I'm gonna talk about this next part. So, like I said, the enchanter trades in a currency called dust. There are three versions of this. You have green dust, you have red dust, and you have purple dust. Um, green dust is your basic dust and is going to be used to unlock or re-roll, randomize the enchantment on tiered items. So anything that says tier 1 through 15, you will use green dust to mess with. And you can see those all over here on the right. You get green dust by completing any dungeon with the amount of dust you get scaling up to the based on the difficulty of the dungeon and capping out at difficulty 6. Once you hit difficulty 6, your red dust will start to drop. And for reference, uh, Sulphur's Wetlands, Parasite Chambers, Mountain Temple, and Lair of Draconis are all difficulty 6, so that's the kind of baseline difficulty you need to be at to start getting red dust. And I haven't learned yet if higher difficulty gives you more red, du red dust or not, but it would make sense that as you go above tier 6, that, um, sorry, above difficulty 6, that you get more and more red dust, but I don't know. And why do you want red dust? Well, because red dust is specifically used to upgrade your enchants. So uh, on this ring, I have on hit retaliation. And this is a terrible enchantment, so I would swap it out because it's the on hit shoots little shots around you. Um, but to upgrade it, you'll pay red dust. So green dust gets you the base enchant. Red dust upgrades the enchant. 
and takes your items from, I don't know, plus four dexterity at level one to plus six um, at level two. I don't know if those numbers are right though. Uh, but like I mentioned earlier with respect to lower tier and higher tier items, lower tier items cannot be upgraded to as high a level as the higher tiers can. And I'm going to put on the screen a chart from Deca's last blog post, um, but just so you can see it in game, this longbow, which is tier eight, can't be any higher than level one. This tier three star can't be higher than level one, but this ring, this tier five ring can get upgraded at least to level two. And again, there should be a chart on screen showing you what uh, the max level of an enchantment is based on its tier. Um, and lastly, there is purple dust. Now, purple dust is like green dust, but it's only for UT items, but it costs a lot of purple dust. The behemoth armor was 1,750 purple dust to enchant, which is really, really high. Um, and for purple dust, to get it, you have to do exaltation dungeons. And each time you complete them, and when I say complete, I believe that means take a Hey YouTube, this is Editing Roast realizing that you do in fact see how much dust you receive when you kill bosses, not when you take the Nexus portal. Up here in the top left, it says when you press and hold K. So, there you go. Purple Dust only drops from those Exalt Dungeons and is used for your UTs. And the UTs are weird because I think you need to have engravings, which are like blueprints, but for enchantments, I'm not 100% certain on that yet though. Just some more goodies about dust in general is that the only way you can know how much you have is to come to the enchanter up here and look at this list. Um, and you have to be careful because you can accidentally hit the cap of 2k fairly easily. So if you're trying to upgrade an enchant or engrave a specific UT, you will have to unlock that uh, by talking to him because at first when you talk to the enchanter you could only just reroll your basic greens to unlock using red dust like i have here and purple dust like you could see here if there was anything for it go to the top left and you'll click on this little arrow and he'll give you options now you can either upgrade them with the dusts or the or a bit of gold so if you haven't unlocked red dust using it you'll have to pay i think it was like 250 red dust and then for purple i think it was 500 purple so you can do that or you can spend i think it was 250 gold to unlock them so get your dust upgrade and then go from there um a few side notes that i want to talk about before we get into which enchants are the best in slots are this so uh when you reroll the price to reroll will increase permanently so like on this this bow it's currently 15 green dust if i reroll it now it's 30 um so that price increases and permanently each time you roll it so if you rolled this three or four more times you might end up with a locked enchant that kind of sucks so be cautious about overdoing it um, I've also found that the lower tier the item is, the cheaper it is to reroll the enchantment. So here I have, you know, a tier 8 bow and a tier 6 plate mail, and I've both upgraded them once. The bow are rerolled once, the bow takes 30, and the plate mail only takes 10. So the lower the tier, the cheaper to reroll. So if you want to experiment with what different uh, buffs you can get, do it on lower tier gear to see how it works at first, and then try in the higher tier when you really got something you're looking for. Um, something I don't know yet, but I want to find out, and if you guys know, I'd love if you could comment it below, is that if you upgrade the enchantment, and then reroll after the fact, does it keep, does it stay as a level two enchantment or does it go back down to level one? I'm going to guess and say it stays at level two, but I don't know. We know what items are eligible for specific enchants and I'm gonna show a big thing on the screen now. Um, and I guess the highlights of this are that only weapons can get abilities can get enchantments that affect your shooting, like changing projectile size or projectile pattern. Um, abilities currently give flat mana, and I think are the only ones that do that. I thought they were supposed to change how much the abilities cost, because that's what it says on the spreadsheet I'm showing you, but I don't know. Um, only rings can get these extra attacks where uh, you get hit and shots fire from you, but I think those are terrible, so don't worry about it. And then only armors can give you status effects like healing or speedy or berserk. Um, and one more thing on dust is that sometimes after defeating a boss, you'll get a little 
dust charm and I've already used these but they're just it's just an image of the dust and it says use this to get X green dust um, and it's just like normal dust except it's a consumable so you can use it whenever you see fit um, and the last actual last thing before we talk about best in slide enchants would have to be that when you enchant something it's, its name changes so right now this is the trickster's gilded longbow because it has dexterity if i reroll it it becomes the assassin's gilded longbow because it now has plus one attack um these names should clue into the change so if you're using something that's good for like an assassin wants a lot of attack and that's what you get from this mystic wants a lot of mp um berserk gives you spiteful you know kind of revenge retaliating tells you that you're shooting back and trickster gets dexterity like a bunch of stuff like that i think it's cool i think it's fun and i think it helps kind of guide you in the right direction but now let's get to the part of the video that you guys all want to see and that would be what i think are the best in slot in chance not per class but just in general because to go over the whole class list of like oh for night it's this for trickster it's this would be too much so instead i will call out what i think are overall just cream of the crop best of the best and so um these are for your armors we're going to say the on hit that gives you berserk armoring or damaging because that's especially the armoring is just so good now they only proc when you get hit for 20 damage but in most fights that's fairly common um and now if you have now let's finally get to what i think are the best enchants i won't go through the whole list of classes because that would take seven days but i do want to call out some of the absolute best that i think are just best in slot for everybody everybody literally um and first and foremost i have to call out armoring berserking and damaging on your different armors now these only proc on hit which makes them a little bit weaker and each armor class doesn't have access to all of them for example plate mail can't get armoring which would be super op <laughs> but these are still really strong due to all the extra damage they can put out and prevent especially for armor because it gives you plus 50 percent defense so on my ninja right now if i was to get armored i would jump to 60 defense instead of 42 and that's that's insane that's so much extra damage mitigation and uh berserking and damaging are super good if you don't have the warrior or paladin to give you those status effects i really like all the extra damage you can get from here if especially if you're into doing solo content i think this the on hit berserk and damaging are really really strong um after that i would say that weapon enchants that change the projectile size or make it boomerang are probably going to be number one I, i've already reeled this but this originally had an enchant that increased the projectile size because while it's kind of a boring enchant it is really really good for just making you not miss your shots or in place of boomeranging i don't know if it makes the shots last longer but maybe i can reroll this and see so this is the dex bonus let's see if i can get fire rate that's actually really good too come on relative dex that's i don't know how that works relative attack give me give me a boomerang give me a boomerang please yeah there we go i want to i'm gonna go equip this on a uh, wizard or priest sorcerer do i have one i have a sorcerer here i want to see what that looks like uh because i'm curious because i don't know if the boomerang keeps the projectile for as long as it normally does or if it makes it stick around for even longer so for reference that's how long projectile lasts that's so good so it doubles the projectile's life so if you're kiting in a fight and the boss is chasing you imagine all the extra shots because the projectile is just coming right back to where you were and the boss is chasing you that's so good oh my god boomerang probably number one especially on long range classes like this because all like if the boss is chasing you it's just impossible to miss now because your shots are just gonna go where the boss is now standing for you that's that's so good oh my god that's crazy so boomerang's probably number one for weapons and then the other ones that help the projectiles also but you know depending on how much dex and fire rate and attack damage can add those might those might be good competitors and if you guarantee you hit your shots um boomerang and these aren't as good because you can only hit things once um, but I think Boomerang will be especially good for Void Katana and Lumiere's 
because uh, the boomerang is relatively good based on the lifetime of the shots. So if your shots are really short-lived, it's not as good. But if the shots stick around a long time, I think it'd be really nice. Also, I love the kind of pattern this makes by just like happening to be a little loop circle. That's cool. Anyways, um, after weapons, we have rings. And I have to say on rings, um, they mostly just give stat increases. And because of that, if you can get a T6 HP ring, with an HP enchantment, it's insane. Because for reference, I had a buddy, I, he showed me his graveyard, he had a T6 HP ring, which is like 180 default, or 160, I can't remember, and he had it enchanted with HP. So his T6 HP ring had 210 max HP. That is 20 more than a DECA. That's insane. Like, and I don't have a, a crown in here, I don't think, but that would probably be comparatively close to what a crown does which is bonkers um and then for abilities the only option is mana reduction which is kind of sad honestly i would like it a lot more if uh you could do stuff like th th so there was there's some stuff that they've had to take out of the game because it was too strong like one of them was doubled ability casts so when you use your ability it just casts it twice and that's really cool but also is an incredibly strong uh thing so yeah if i reroll this a couple times oh it can give you stats so that's nice at least but the the uh mp cost reduction that's ooh, that's a really low amount if it was higher that could be good but only two and a half percent isn't that much but i don't know i have not done the math to see how much that enchant cost would affect your dps so yeah go nuts for the mana reduction i think probably would be the best one over like a plus one to the stats but yeah i don't know i'm gonna i'm gonna dig around with this and figure out some more stuff but this should be more than enough to get you started on the path of enchants um here are what they look like when you've got them equipped that's all i've got for enchants right now right now in rome because this changed you know three days ago this may change again in the future and if it does or if i miss something or you guys learn something new comment it below to share with the community i appreciate you guys all watching i would love if you subscribed if you haven't yet and i want to thank my patron again for their support you guys should join them link in the description but until next time keep it beefy boys